just as you can use the task manager and the resource monitor to find out what system resources each process is consuming, you can also get that information through PowerShell. So let's take a look at how this works. I'm going to begin by clicking on the start button. And then I'm going to go to the W section. I'll go to Windows PowerShell and then I'm going to right click on Windows PowerShell and go to more and run as administrator and that's going to open an elevated PowerShell session. And here we are in PowerShell. Now if you just want to get information about your system processes, you can do that by typing the get dash process CMD let. I'll go ahead and do that so that you can see what it looks like. And what you get is a list of every process that's running on the machine and the resources that process is using. So you can see the handles and then you see information about the amount of memory that the process is using. Incidentally, W set K, that's your working set memory in kilobytes. And you can also see the CPU usage, the process ID, and then the process name. So this information is great, but as you can see, there are a lot of processes. So if you're trying to track down a performance problem, then it really helps to be able to sort this list. But let's take a look at how that might be done. What I'm going to do is type get dash process again, and this time I'm going to specify the pipe symbol. And if you're not familiar with PowerShell, the pipe symbol tells PowerShell that you want to take the output from one CMD let and use it as input for another CMD let. So we're taking the output that's generated by the get dash process CMD let and we're treating it as input for another CMD let. And in this case, that CMD let is going to be sort dash object. I'll go ahead and type that. Now we have to tell PowerShell what we want to sort by. And the way that we do that is by providing a property and then the name of that property. So if I wanted to sort this list by CPU usage, then I would type dash property. and then CPU. And I'll go ahead and press enter. And so now the output is sorted by CPU usage. I'll go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. And if you look at the CPU category, you can see that the very first process that's listed has no CPU usage and then the CPU usage increases gradually. And then as we scroll down, we get higher and higher CPU usage. So we've effectively sorted our list of processes by the amount of CPU usage. Now, one thing that I do want to be sure and point out is that the information that's presented is accurate for that particular moment in time. CPU usage fluctuates, and so does memory usage. So just because the information was accurate at the time that it was captured doesn't mean that it's going to be accurate two seconds later. But let's suppose that we want to narrow this down a little bit. Suppose that, for whatever reason, we wanted to know which five processes are consuming the most CPU time. Yes, we could look at our sorted list, but there is another way that we could do that. What I'm going to do is repeat the command that we just typed. And then I'm going to add another pipe symbol at the end. Which means that we're going to take this output that we already generated and we're going to treat that as input for yet another PowerShell CMD let. And that CMD let is going to be select object. Now the select object CMD let tells PowerShell which columns you want to display. So we could type some various column headers and tell PowerShell how we want the output formatted. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to type dash last five. And when I press enter, what we get is a list of the five processes that are consuming the most CPU time. So we've effectively narrowed down that great big list and we found the five processes that are putting the greatest load on our CPU. So that's just a taste of how you can use PowerShell to diagnose system performance issues.